So Good thing. what you're seeing here is what we call Kal-El, which is the name of Superman before he became Superman, right? So this is the next generation version of Tegra. Um, that's the code name, Kal-El. Um, what it does is it's going to be the world's first um, system on a chip that features a quad-core uh, CPU processor. So right now, Tegra 2 is the world's first dual-core for uh, tablets. So this is going to be four cores. It also has 12 GPU cores, which will be the triple wow. the number of cores found in Tegra 2. So it'll be a significantly enhanced graphics processing as well as just overall processing. Um, it's really kind of takes media, kind of the uh, content consumption experience to the next level. Faster browsing, much better games. Um, you'll, you'll see a lot of games being shown here that really take advantage of the four CPU cores and the 12 GPU cores. Uh, some examples, um, I don't know how much uh, from a game standpoint you guys analyze things, but things like dynamic lighting. So if you have many light sources, it actually, you can cast shadows on yourself. Um, you know, the shadows are, you know, you have soft shadows the closer it is to where you are. Or even All just these, one light source. Yes. So this is what we call glow ball. So you can see here that, um, you know, the, the lighting is truly dynamic. You also have uh, advanced physics simulation with cloth where it interacts with the environment. Yeah. Um, all these things. And this is a NVIDIA technology demo which will also be available for users to play around with as a little mini game yeah. um, when Kal-El becomes available. Uh, so we already sampling this to customers. Um, the release timing we can't really talk about because we don't ship actual fi finished products. Right. So you should talk to whoever. You're supplying uh, more or less the GPUs uh, and the, the well, underlying a, processors to, to yes. the vendors, right? That's right. That's right. So um, we're really excited about this. We also have another demonstration showing movies um, in 1440p. So you can HDMI out and have 1440p resolution, which is the step beyond HD. Right. So all these Maybe things the are going to be HD. Yeah. Right? yeah. So all those, these things are going to be possible with Kal-El based uh, tablets and phones, which will be coming out very, very soon. So do you see yourself phasing out Tegra 2 in like you know a year's time to go with this instead? Because I could see the major vendors like Motorola that you know a lot of there's a lot of major vendors that use the Tegra 2 processor yeah. now, and and they really really hype that up. Mm -hmm. That it's, it's it's current gen now, but this is next gen. Yeah, we don't comment up on um, actual how our technology gets adopted by yeah. our customers. Um, it could easily be that as as long as demand's there, that Tegra 2 will serve certain parts of the market. Um, you know, but so it could have another two or three years for all we know. Yeah. It is that, um, how, uh, you know, a capable of a processor. So, you know, we, we like to provide options to our customers, and um, but we feel that all in all, Tegra 3 is really going to be the way to go for devices that will, uh, where users will do a lot of media consumption um, in terms of playing games, browsing, um, high definition videos and things right. like that. You want to see another demo? Yes. Okay. It's like really hard to control. <laughs> it's yeah. using yeah. a gyroscope. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's hard. So here's a, here's one. This is a technology demo by one of our partners called uh, named Capcom. You know, they're of Street Fighter oh, yeah, and of Resident Evil and you know. They're legendary. Yes. So this is actually uh, a tech demo of uh, Lost Planet 2. Um, they haven't confirmed that it'll be a game yet. What, th what they did was, it's a technology exercise of adapting their game engine from Xbox and PlayStation and PC over to run on Kal-El uh, based uh, products. So this is actually being rendered in real time. Um, and so just a year ago, they, sh they released this game on PC, DirectX 11. Right. They took that and they just, it's running on Kal-El right now. So does this actually physically handle DirectX 11? Um, no, because DirectX doesn't exist on mobile devices. Now, the features found in DirectX 11, um, certain shaders, um, tessellation, things like that, are possible in OpenGL ES, okay. which is the API, or the application programming interface of choice, to, to do native 3D graphics on mobile devices. So you can do the equivalent of that, and that's what this engine is doing. Right. Where 
it's doing 3D graphics processing using on Tegra 3 using OpenGL ES. Now there are some tablets that do 3D. I know LG, they yep. just released uh, their 3D, uh, the 3D tablet. Sure. Do you foresee, uh, you know, partners in the future using the, you know, the stool, this uh, quad core? Absolutely. Well, it's more graphics than CPU when right. it comes to 3D. Because as you know, when you do true 3D, from the left and right standpoint, you actually need double the pixels because you have to have double the frame rate, right? Because well, you, you need to run this, at 120 this will hertz. Show a lot better resolution, right? Yes. So how yeah. will that play? Do you think into the development of a 3D using your new Tegra platform? Yes. So on PC we have what's called 3D Vision on GeForce, right? right? So which well, we don't actually come out with something unless we feel it's the absolute best experience possible oh, for end course. users. Yeah, we don't do cookie cutter you know, half-baked type of solution. Just throw everything at the yes. wall and see what's So, next. So now with uh, uh, Kal-El, because when you do two 3D, you have to, you require double the pixel processing. At HD resolution, Te Tegra 3 will be able, uh, Kal-El, will be, Project Kal-El will be able to do that, sorry. Um, and yes, so this will be a, the, a perfect 3D solution, because it's all about processing, uh, graphics processing power. Right. Yeah, and also, just to add on that, you know, our partners are always looking for ways of how to differentiate or come up with new innovative ways to show either tablets or phones or whatnot, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely something that people are looking into, if not already looking at. So again, when do you foresee this, you know, this technology out, you know, refined, partners starting to pick up on it? Will it be like the end of the year, 2012? Uh, just a general estimation. Yeah, we can't comment on uh, dates, but let him. At least what we've said so far is we fully anticipate that we will start seeing products using Project LL uh, within 2011. So oh, within this year.